Well, hello there. It's science time, and that is fantastic. Which billionaire businessman will get to the moon or Mars first? Is it Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos? They are currently in a contest of one upsmanship, one upmanship rather, for space travel. Musk plans to use his company, SpaceX, to send human beings into orbit on the moon around the moon, at least, by 2018. Bezos and his company, Blue Origin, they're aiming to launch a lunar li delivery service between Earth and that little rock by 2020 with plans for a permanent lunar base. Both have said that Mars is, of course, the ultimate goal. So is this feasible? And will these two rich guys end up like Matt Damon in The Martian? God rest his soul. Here to discuss, it's theoretical physicist Dr. Michio Kaku. Welcome back, Dr. Kaku. Glad to be on. So you've got Elon Musk and SpaceX with the first reusable rocket launch, the first successful one. What does this mean for space exploration? Well, not since the days of the Cold War have we seen a rivalry so interesting for the, for the domination of outer space. In one corner of the ring, we have Elon Musk just last week launched the first reused rocket back into outer space. Now think of the used car industry. The introduction of the used car industry changed the economics of the automobile industry. Same thing, now we're going to introduce this used rocket industry. This is incredible. It's going to change the dynamics of the space race. And then... Because now, if there is a craft already in orbit, it can reuse that rocket conceivably to keep going without needing to carry its... Well, the booster rocket will land back on the Earth, and then we can recycle it and use it again for the second, perhaps even third launch, mm -hmm. perhaps dropping the cost of space travel by up to a factor of 10. It costs $10,000 to put a pound of anything into orbit around the planet Earth. That's $10,000. That's your weight in gold on average. Yeah. Now, if you can reduce the cost by a factor of 10, that's going to open up the heavens for you and me. That's amazing. And, yeah. and, but Bezos sees this. He wants to launch the Amazon delivery service to the moon. That's right. And what does that mean? Well, Mars is a little bit far for him. Uh, Elon Musk has a head start there. He already has the, uh, the Falcon, the Falcon heavy rocket destined for Mars. But the moon is up for grabs. So why not set up a delivery system uh, to the moon? He wants a permanent moon base, a city, a city on the moon. Rather than just going there putting a flag on the moon, he wants to create a permanent moon base. Amazonia, perhaps. <laughs> That's right. Who knows in Bezosistan? Who knows exactly what they'll call it? But I agree with you. I think that you have, and, and there are people who have criticism for each of these people reaching into the government cookie jar, but the fact that you have two billionaires that are thinking more about looking into the heavens and less about building super yachts, I, I think it's, it's a boon for humanity. That's right. And remember that uh, they have checkbooks that they can and simply write checks that to help subsidize some of these very expensive rockets that go into outer space. Yeah. Now, not to be outdone, NASA has its own booster rocket ready, the SLS booster rocket that they want to f test fire perhaps next year. And President Donald Trump has even asked NASA to accelerate that timetable a little bit yeah. so that by 2020, by the end of his first term, we will go back to the moon, so you orbit have around the moon. A at least three billionaires ready to slingshot human beings deep into the vastness of space. One of them happens to be president who is supportive of NASA. It will be an interesting time. Dr. Kaku, thank you so much. All right. Great to mm -hmm. see you again.